Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the Murloc. So, a place like this is good. As long as there's nobody near, like, you should be, and there's nothing on the ground that really can throw you off, you just release your Murloc. I'm gonna release it here, in the corner. And here we go. He is gonna go, and then I just catch all the fish. You see all these little fish? Probably not the best uh, background to do it on, but just keep catching the fish as you go. Just try to find them all. Another one here. Again, probably the worst background I could have picked. <laughs> it blends in too good. Thought it would work well, but nope. So as you can see, I picked up all these fish, and all these fish are all fish for 50 artifact power, or if you're leveling, for a five point of uh, for skills towards fishing. <clears throat> so earlier when I, I was saying like pick a, a, a dead knight or a shaman is great because they they both she's not shaman but uh, well shaman could be decent because as the, the astral recalls if your uh, recall is set to uh, Dalaran then you can go back twice <clears throat> the point is you want to basically have a way to get back if the monk is another one you can go back constantly so that makes it a little bit easier unless you have you don't have a full inventory like, uh, like if you have like, an almost empty one then it's great then you can definitely go out there and make a really big uh, dent into your uh, before you need to go back so you're, you're basically your your uh, stone is back on cooldown <clears throat> so basically that's what happens you go back to Dalaran and you go to the nice little fountain and you just drop your things you have to be a little bit further out actually I have to have my artifact on it's not ready yet <coughs> sorry about that just tossing this up and 50 at pop and you can see my bars are moving for much of anything. I was talking in the part one of my uh, video that I, that's where I would go. I would go up here on the on the second floor but you gotta be careful because the rows go through that area there so <clears throat> I usually would leave him up here and he uh, usually goes up and down this, this stair. Once in blue moon I'll, it'll go out to here and come back but you can catch up the fish pretty quickly. And as you can see, there's nobody around here, so it's pretty quiet. But again, if it's really busy, don't do that, because you, you you might lose some fish. You do that. Again, that little ball, that's where you upgrade your uh, <coughs> your rod. And now we're going to go back to... Uh, to my spot and then I'll use the first lure. I got the lure, like if you saw part one, I got literally, I, I turned the video off and I got the, the lure, so How it was that fast. Hiring Grove Retreat. And I'm now I'm gonna use the lure. My lure should be around four and a half minutes or so, maybe five minutes. So, and I just wanna use it for as long as I can. So I wanna maximize it. If I, if let's say I, I fill everything in my inventory and I have no room I still keep casting until that debu that buff is gone because I'll get the barrels and the barrels again go to your emails so your mail so you are gonna get those afterwards anyway so the other thing with the murloc I forgot to mention is you get about 20 of the f of uh, rune scale in there too so as a with as if you didn't have enough with just the <laughs> the the a 9 to 20 uh, special fish. <clears throat> so I'm gonna vendor these boots and then we'll see if it's really if we'll see if it was just because I had a uh, buff for five minutes that I was getting somehow a better chance to get other uh, but somehow I don't think that's true. I got many lucky dudes you like. Maybe I just got many lucky yesterday. But again, we'll see. Hey, your feet find good trail. So again, I always have these these two forks here, this one and this one that I go through. Doesn't matter which one you pick. 
I usually start with this one and go down and then come back. So mm -hmm. right here, right? And I got my lure. It's this one here. Demonic Detritus. And bow right up the bat. I like it. And I can use my five minute thing. So I'm picking up these tainted rune scale koi, and those give me 50 artifact power each. And I want to get as many as possible. So every time I get a barrel, it's like great because that saves me time. But let's see if it gives me what I need. If you get the the ancient mana fish, you can actually click on that while you're mounted and it won't dismount you, so <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about uh, filling up with fish that might be undesired once you cap. Oh, here you go. I got another lure. So I'm proving myself right here. Oh, and I got a murloc lure. There you go. Bam. That's how it was yesterday. So as long as you have a lure, you're good. If you run out, maybe you have a couple of arcane lure just to speed up the process. Here's another three. So I'm already set up for my next run. The way I, the because I don't open my murloc until I go back to town. So because I want to unload all these and then I'll unload the murloc and then after I come back and I have a lure ready to go for my next run. That's usually how I like to have things set up. But again, <clears throat> we'll see how that rolls. Another couple more. I had like 27 rune scale when I started two seconds ago. I'm at 53 already. So as you can see, like you get fish very, very fast. <clears throat> Faster than anything else. Honestly, I don't think... Uh, Depending on which herbs, maybe not even no. You can be like going everywhere for fox flower before you get anything. Like and then the ones that you have quite a bit are the ones that take forever to get. Like the uh, starlight. The old kitten patriarch Yolong <coughs> is having so, trouble with his going, kittens back home. pretty darn good right Look now. Eyes, I still got two minutes on my buff and I'm almost capped, which is what you want. If you're not even close, you can actually use your other lure and keep pounding in. <clears throat> you gotta think that you cannot get another lure until you actually use it. So, like that same lure, like the murloc, I won't get another murloc lure until I use the murloc lure. So, that's the downfall of it all, but it's so fast. So now I'm about three, I got about five spots left if I remove the, the stupid pair of boots and the, uh, the other fish. So I got this one here to get rid of. These two. I remember I, no shit, I can't that. carry anymore. See that fish I had in there? He's gonna go automatically to my email because I couldn't loot it. Also, if let's say you wanted to delete something and then loot something in the in the barrel, you can actually get out of the barrel. The barrel still stays there. You can reload it. It, does, it won't just disappear on you. So. What the hell? Did I loot? Oh, I didn't see that there was. That's a barrel. See, I don't have to. Again, it's going to go to my mailbox. Now, I'm just basically going for barrels. I might get a few rune scale here and there, but that's it. <clears throat> so now we're at 80 rune scale. <laughs> Pretty insane, considering how quick that was. Before getting that, like, would have been the hours of fishing. So I don't know, it's all depending on what kind I of fish you need, anymore. obviously, but, uh, oh, there you go, got a, 
a little friend here. So here, I have this one here that, again, all these lures, you can actually, they're tradable. You can actually uh, put them on the auction house as well. So if you get too many, you can actually vendor. Or, or you can tra uh, or you can probably just email them. That's probably what I should do. Email them right away to somebody else. That way you can keep getting the lures. <clears throat> That's a, not a bad idea. But you would need like an engineer to do that. Like to just pop your mailbox and, and sell them. Or go back to Suramar uh, City. Well, Suramar City. The Suramar area the, where the cave is. There's a mailbox right outside that. So again, I'm just trying. Oh, so yeah, my, bu my buff is over already, right? so I can stop here. I don't have to keep going. I'm gonna do one more, maybe. Just trying to finish this one. But this is like the perfect run, basically. I ran my one lure. I got three, the three lures, back. I can't now, carry anymore. I'm just basically ready to go back. The only thing that would be better than that is having more <laughs> space. I know, it's horrible. I have no room. But again, once you've done most of that, you can actually feed those lures to alts and just freaking like make them go to town and get stuff. It won't be as good because they only have a two minute buff when they use theirs. But once they get the artifact and everything, it'll go up and you'll, you'll be laughing. It's so again, still I just toss trying. all that stuff in there. <clears throat> it doesn't look like much, but it, 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 it adds up pretty good. <clears throat> I don't care about those damn boots. Then I go up here and I'll do the murloc here. Here it's a bit easier to see. They're quite... Uh, like you can see them very easily. Gosh, he's doing like the perfect run for me. He's just staying up here. So I picked up everything. Again, make sure that when you unlock your Murloc, uh, unleash your Murloc, that you have an empty inventory. Because again, if it's not empty, it's gonna... Well, actually, it goes to your email as well. So I guess you could do it. I can't use that item. <clears throat> so there you go. That's uh, basically it, guys. You just keep repeating that over and over again, and you'll get all your goodies. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, uh, one last thing. When you look at your, uh, obviously there's different fish, and then the ones that I suggest getting are probably the Eye Mountain uh, Salmon is pretty good. The Storm Ray has also a lot of pools. The Moss Gill, depending on where you go, it's really annoying. There's a lot of mobs. It's not the most fun to fish. But again, it depends on how you see it. I see it as for being efficient. If you want to be efficient, those ones are easy. Uh, the Black Barracuda has pools everywhere, especially in Sar Saramara in the southern uh, part there against the coastline. That's where you're gonna find a lot of those pools, and then once you have your shark form and then your uh, your uh, water walking, you can just go from pool to pool really fast. The only thing that sucks in that area in Suramar is that there's a, when the, the fucking boats come by and they knock, they fucking knock you off and shit. <laughs> Not fun, but uh, there's there's plenty of pools in, in a lot of spots where you can just go over and over again. But I, again, I'm pretty sure the best spot that I found is the second best spot is probably Storm Ray. Uh, but again. Thanks for watching, and again, make sure you get those so you can all get, get your barrels, and I wouldn't get those two unless you absolutely need the range, because where you're going to fish, I would get that probably in the last, and actually focus on the actual fish to get the barrels so that you can go faster, because it takes you one cast, or maybe a little less, but a little bit more, but you, uh, <coughs> you get done quickly. Later. Do -do -do.